Paul Mitchell here. I got the first trout of 2019. I'm fishing a blade harvest fly fish nailing section. Looks like a little brookie. I got a mop fly. It looks like he might have hit my trailing uh, marabou nymph that I've come up with on my own. Got him in the side of the mouth. So if I'm landed here, I'm gonna unhook him and keep fishing. It's cold here again. Got my third rookie of the day. Got him on the mop fly. Um, the last one had both flies, the mop fly and the nymph nymph. So didn't get a good video because uh, just got stopped by the fish connection as I was reeling them in. So we got number three. See him fishing in a. Um, well, I'll show you after. So Colt Mitchell here. Um, with the five trout now today. I just stopped to retie. I want to show you my setup where I'm fishing. Little falls here. Didn't catch anything out of these little rapids here, but I do like them. Uh, I don't think the fish are really spread yet because. They were just stocked like five days ago. The trout are all where that shadow is in the tree. A little difficult to catch there. Um, but I'll make it do. Like I said, I had five on. Uh, right before the fish commissioner showed up, I had a fish on. I hurried to unhook it and snap the line to my dropper fly. I just retied. I got my homemade mop fly here. In my little marabou peacock tail nymph. It's got some red marabou there. It's a little sparse. I'm gonna give it a shot. I had the flies reversed. I'm gonna try it this way. We'll see how it goes. Cold here. This is fish number six. We missed uh, about three more. Probably got some pressure on him with the barber so He really spooked up the hole here, so I think our time let it settle up. Uh, he hit the bottom up fly, not the scoring worm. Yeah, I changed up again. Okay, we're back. Fish number seven on the squirmy worm. First fish I think I've ever caught on one. It's a pink one. I know I'm not catching the same fish, but I'm throwing them just back behind me over this waterfall. But yeah, it's, it's a little way to it. Decent guy, I can really kill him full one. So let's get him free. Boat here, got another fish. He, uh, a little bit spicy. Oh, he went through the falls and there he is. Oh, here we got another one. Right after that other one, uh, did a little quick release. I don't have a barb hooks on, so it's gonna fall off rather easily. Uh, especially when you're playing, I'm trying to get him on camera. There you go, a little guy. Saw him open his mouth, so come on. Hold here again. Losing track of the number, but this one hit it on the ball. Uh, another one on the mop fly. You tear this thing up no matter if it's sitting on the ground. Not a big fan of the squirmy warm, but the uh, mop fly is where it's at all the time, no matter what they catch it. Cold again, we got another one here, little guy on the mop. They just can't resist that white mop fly. Love it. How's this for good video? I snagged this fish. I hooked him earlier, and the line broke. I hooked the other line and got him. So let's get out and free him. So I'm a one man crew. I'm gonna try to record the drift. The trout are under that shadow and I can see in the water, it's pretty clear here in this mountain stream. But they are just crushing this mop fly. They can just sit there and they'll eat it. Kind of tough being one man. I got one hand on the rod, one on the camera, but we're gonna try. As long as I don't drop the camera in the water. We got a little drift. Going right through the fish right now. Get a couple of jigs, let's see what happens. Nothing on that cast. We're going to try it again. Right back up under that log. Just a little flip cast gets it up there. Whatever works. Like I said, these fish are freshly stocked. They're not used to people, but they're not as spooked as they will be when you start getting their jaws. Uh, they've been in here about five days. It's Wednesday afternoon. They stocked it Saturday, I believe. 
And this is the late harvest fly fishing only section of the Oh, we had a little bite there. I missed one. I thought it was the bottom. I think I just missed another one. They're packed in here so tight. There he is. Ah, he had it, but he didn't have it good. But you have to be careful because I've snagged quite a few. Um, I'm just going to spit the hook and grab the next one. He went toward it, but I don't think he hit that one. Let's try again here. Pretty sure we can get one on camera. I felt a little bit of the rod there. There it is. There it is. And that is the mop fly again. That mop fly is killer. If you want to catch fish, I mean, this is almost cheating. We're definitely in the teens, but I lost the count. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go and I'm gonna release them. Sun's getting low, it's almost getting time to go here. I just stop after work. Take a watch, left a little bit early. Trying to get some fish to the other in this area. And the best fish I did is mob fly. Phenomenal. Okay. So it's got over a dozen fish. It's almost, almost time for me to go. This mob fly is just crushing them. I'll try to get one more from cast the landing on video for you guys. It's tough because I'm my own cameraman. We'll give it a shot. Cast him with one hand, reel him with one hand. We'll try it. They're smacking this mop fly. I mean, it sits there. You jig it. They hit it on the fall. Just a little pop, and you see their mouth open, and it's gone. Who ever thought such a simple, easy-to-tie fly would crush fish? I hope that was on camera, that uh, something just, well, fish, just came and took something off the surface. And I was talking about that, I missed one. We would hit right there. Look at that mop fly down there. Nothing's touching the squirming worm. Give it a couple of jigs, get the tail up the pool, and we'll throw it back out there. Get back under the log, let it drift down. I can't see my bait where it's at right now. Oh, I've got line slowed down. I think it's drifting along the bottom. Yeah, that's a snap. Whoop, good, we broke through. They're in there tight. I don't want to snag a fish. Drifting down here. Let's see if I can get explosive hit again. Uh, missed him there. The drifter. One's looking at it. He's got it in his mouth. Ah, oh, we lost him. I lost him. We didn't do anything. You guys were just watching him. Amazing! I can just see them. A big white fly, and then it's just gone. It's in their throat. You see a little flash, and there's a fish on. A little harder to hook them and keep them. The barbless hooks. That's catch twenty two because it's also easy to release them. It's good because I forgot my net today. I just had about three on three consecutive casts before I saw the video. Now, of course, I bring out the camera and it slows down, so I'm going to give it a shot. I want to see if we can get everything on the camera. There he is. There he is. All right, we're going to call that the last fish of the day. Uh, 
we go. Good day. Good, good day. Oh, good. I don't even have to release them. One last cast, another one last cast. Oh, we gotta get one damn. Well, I know I said last cast, but who wants to go home? It's so peaceful, even though I'm talking to a camera. So I'm going to turn at these. They just love this thing. And my own opinion is it resembles the Japanese beetle larvae. It looks almost exactly like it. Live dead, sitting there, drifting. They kill the moth fly. I haven't had much luck on the other colors that other people have, chartreuse what have you. Um, but this white, soft white tan color is phenomenal. I don't have a reason to use any other ones. Boy, are they in this whole tight. I mean, there's got to be 30, 40, 50 trout in here. I'm on the smaller side, but there's a couple, you know, about a pound, maybe. Nothing too crazy. Like I said, they're stockfish. It's still fun to get out and get out to them. I don't have much in the way of trout fishing near me. There's a trout, so I'll take advantage of the while I'm out here. Let's see if we can get one more fish here right quick. Oh, did you see that? I was just giving it a little bit of rod tip action. I want to pack it like it was a spinner bait. I mean, this isn't a fly fishing, it's almost like jigging. Stop videotaping and probably the last fish of the day. Get on that moth fly. Swarming wormies. They don't seem to do it. Bring them over here and let them go. And we head home. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now to catch a trout on the moth fly.